Hi everyone, and here we are in the heart of Dea in a very private listing that we're about to take on and I thought I would show you around. Um, there are four bedrooms, four bathrooms. You are walking distance to all of the shops, bars and restaurants in Dea. It's located in, I would say Dea's prime location, just behind the residencia, so you get sun all day. So it's definitely in the right spot. So right now I'm just in the parking. So you've got parking for two cars probably more than two cars actually. You've got an entrance here which comes in from the road, the neighbor can park in their house, but from here onwards, it's all private land and that belongs to, to the house. So I'm gonna show you around the rest of the house and I can't wait, so let's have a look. So now we're gonna come into the house. We've got two options. We can go to the right, which takes you to the side of the house or the left, which brings you to the top level of the house. I'm gonna first give you a little peek into this side. Follow me and you're immediately met with this beautiful combination between rustic and modern. You've got the stone facade walls mixed with the modern tile and that's a theme that runs throughout the house. You've got a covered walkway here so you can drop your shopping off without getting wet. There's a utility room to the right here which I'll show you later. And also you have a lift so if you park your car you want to avoid too many steps you can drop your shopping off at the bottom, which is where the kitchen is. But I'd rather, first of all, we'll come back here later, I'll show you the other side or the other way to get into the house. So here we are to the right hand side. And as you can see, it's got this beautiful walkway. You've got lawn, it's beautifully landscaped. You've got palm trees all around. And it just has this lovely feel, which takes you to my favorite part of the house, the most impactful, which is the pool area. Now we're going to head to the lower level of the house. So you've got another entrance here, which takes you into the living area, but I'm not going to show you that just yet. I'm going to take you to the, the pièce de résistance and we're going to go down to the pool area. And look at this. Isn't it fantastic? This is my favorite part of the house by far. You come down here, you've got the most spectacular view that I don't really think you can quite capture on camera. You kind of have to be here to really appreciate it. You've got this incredible pool. It's a chlorine pool. You've got a cover. It's 11 by five meters. Perfect for an evening dip as the sun goes down. And you also have a walkway that leads down the side onto a couple of terraces, which are filled with orange and lemon trees. So a variety of citrus fruits there. And if you continue down the steps, you actually reach a lower entrance to the property, which is really, really handy to be able to access the shops, bars and restaurants. So you kind of save yourself an extra little bit of uh, walking, I guess, uh, even though the house is ridiculously close to all restaurants and bars. So having that lower entrance will really help you when you just want to pop in and out of the village, go for a drink, come back, relax and continue the drink at home. So we could spend all day outside on the front terrace by the pool, but I want to show you inside. So let's go. And welcome to the inside of Kanakaro. So here we are in the dining room. In the very, very unlikely event that you might want to spend some time dining inside, you have this beautiful dining area, the beautiful stone, uh, original stone feature wall, which is, which is absolutely fantastic feature. And now I'm going to take you through to this open plan sort of kitchen area, which is on the other side of this space, which is an open courtyard, which lets tons of light come into the house and it connects the kitchen with the, the dining and living space. And as you can see, the kitchen area is all uh, open plan. Again, allows a lot of light to come into the house. As you can see, you've got this mix between modern and rustic throughout the house, such as the built-in aircon. You've also got the lift, which I pointed out earlier, which takes you down to the kitchen, which allows you to drop off your shopping if you come straight from the car and you want to avoid the steps. And now also we've got the central heating throughout the house, which is a great way to, to heat up the, the house in winter. And now, as you can see, we're in the living room, which is connected to the dining room, but divided by this beautiful statement wood burner. So you can have fires in the winter to really give it that cozy feel. 
At the moment, the owners actually have this old TV set, a little bit dated in my opinion. I think it would be absolutely fantastic to put a, a flat screen on, the, on this wall here, which would really add an extra feature to the whole space. Enough about the living room, let's go into the bedrooms. But before actually we go into the bedrooms, I wanna show you this office space that they have. It has a really lovely feel. You've got this huge glass window that takes you onto that interior courtyard and will allow a lot of natural light to come in, especially during midday. You've got a bathroom through here. The owners currently have all of their bikes stored in the, the bathroom. So I won't take you in there at the moment. This is a beautiful office space. And now, now I'll show you the bedrooms. And now I'm gonna show you the master bedroom. This is almost the master bedroom of all master bedrooms. Got a nice David Templeton piece here to, to enjoy on the way to the master bedroom. So here we are. You've got a view of the Dea Church from the master bed, and you've got a view of the mountains to the left. And then here we are in the bathroom, the bathtub of all bathtubs. I would love to stay here and take a bubble bath. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you, which you might have seen when we came into the room, is this little room up here. This is a fantastic little space and it really could be anything that you want it to be. It could be an office, um, a kid's little snug room. It could be an art studio. I've actually already seen another David Templeton piece here, which is absolutely beautiful. And it has actually a lot of light because you have the light that comes in from the bedroom as well. So yeah, it really could be any kind of space that you want. Now that we're done with the master bedroom, I'm gonna leave you to have a little sneak peek at the three bedrooms. So you've got one of the bedrooms, which is an ensuite, and the other two guest bedrooms, which share a bathroom. entrance of the house. Do you remember we've got this covered uh, walkway which means that you don't get wet when you bring the shopping in and we've also got this utility room which you might remember I pointed out to you earlier. And there we have it, the full video tour of Ganacaro. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed giving you the tour. As I said, this is a private listing and the listing price is 4.5 million. It's in one of Dea's absolute prime locations. As I said, just behind the Residencia. Maybe you already know how much of a desirable location that is. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys decide. If you have absolutely any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call. I'm happy to do uh, another video viewing in person or even better, you could come out here and view it for yourself. So let's keep in touch. Bye-bye.